Job done, Liverpool. Job done, Arsenal. City, it's over to you. They face Chelsea at the Etihad Stadium. One more match left in the Super Saturday in the Premier League as Cole Palmer returns to the Etihad. Arsenal into second, so City start this match in third. Kai Havertz got goal number five for the Gunners. They won 5-0 at Burnley. Let's hear from him. Kai, many congratulations. You're breaking a lot of records at the moment. That's five wins at the start of the year. You're scoring five goals away from home back to back. Can you describe this sort of momentum since the year change round? Yeah, I think we are um, in a good moment. Um, yeah, won all of the games so far. So uh, obviously it, feel, it feels good. But uh, behind all of that uh, was, was hard work for sure. Um, and you know, there are many more things to come uh, in the future, many hard games. Um, next one is again on, on Wednesday in another competition. Um, so we have to hard work, continue the hard work and uh, give it everything again during the week. Talk me through today's game. You were expecting a tough game, but you scored at really important times, didn't you, to just be ruthless? Definitely. I think uh, we wanted to start the game very well. I think we lacked that um, a bit at West Ham. You know, they were on top of us uh, the first 50 minutes uh, at West Ham, so we wanted to change that. Um, so the early goal was uh, very important for us. Um, and, you know, um, I think we, we scored another couple of good goals and we're happy with the win. Glorious day for the club. Sold out crowd at the Emirates watched the women's team win today. Both teams going for titles this season. What's it like to be around the training ground at the moment? Uh, it's amazing. It's amazing. You know, we are all together. Uh, you know, the youth, us um, and the ladies as well. So there's a good connection. Um, so there's obviously a very good uh, dynamic right now. Uh, we try to push each other every day. Um, yeah, it's it's good, but you know, as I said, there's still a lot to play, and uh, we're gonna gonna keep everything. Well played today. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Arsenal have won their first five Premier League games at the start of the year for the first time ever. They won it five 0 and the scoring started in minute number five. It was their captain Martin Odegaard. And it's a fantastic goal. And Martinelli, you know, every time, he's done really well against Liverpool every time he's played. And here you can see Burnley are just so open. They don't normally, against Liverpool, they didn't play this way at home. And when Martinelli comes in, he picks out a fantastic pass to Odegaard, who just holds out in the edge of the box. First touch sets it up for him for a beautiful half fall into the bottom corner. No question, it was quality. Um, I think Declan travels with the ball as he does. He breaks lines, not only with passes, but when he movement with the ball, he's added that to his game. Great pick out at the edge of the box. The touch makes it and he half volley, times it brilliantly. He's back to his best and they need him back to his best. Asimian brought down Trossard and the decision was a penalty. We're all in agreement? Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, yeah. No I doubt. mean, you know, great interplay from Arsenal, great touch by Havertz. He was rash. And I know it's easy to say, stay on your feet. But in the heat of the moment, you think you can get there. A little touch by Trossard. I don't know why he's complaining. It's a definite pen and yellow card. All right, penalties awarded. Bukayo Saka steps up. You said not convincing. No, it was a poor penalty. You look at the goalkeeper, Trafford should save it. I mean, it's gone underneath his hand. Mm. But listen, at the end of the day, it, all that matters. Defensive header there. And you can mm. still see how open they are here. You can see the midfield players are the wrong side of the ball. Comes to Saka, comes back onto his, on, on, onto his left foot, comes inside, then goes on the outside on his right foot. And it's a great strike, but, you know, if the keeper stands up, I think, I think he should save it. He hits it well, but if you stand up, you get a good hand to that. And now the game is over. Very difficult, John, when you're playing against a wide player. You know yourself, you was one, you can go both ways and you can't second guess Particularly him. if you're left-footed on all right, you think he's going to come in on his left foot, but he goes down the outside. Here, once again, they're so open. Um, and Trossard gets his, uh, his, his second goal. I mean, it's just, a, you know, who, who's going to score it? Good for Trossard. Yeah. Just uses the defender to bend this round. Yeah. The goalkeeper is unsighted. Kouara just drifts forward. He goes at the right time. He's nicely tucked into his centre half. So he's the right time to go forward. And it's, and it's a decent enough pick out. They get a little bit lucky. Of course they do. But Trossard just uses that defender to unsight the goalkeeper. He affects football matches. Every time he's out there, he assists or he scores. Does. Outstanding signing. And I'm pleased for Havart. Hey, this is Havart's goal. I mean, it's ridiculous. Look at a long throw. A throw over the top and in on goal. Yes, you know, he nutmegs him, comes inside. But look how open Burnley are. The midfield players are nowhere to be seen in front of the back four. And um, I'm pleased for Havart because, you know, but the thing with Arsenal is that they haven't necessarily got a centre forward. So they scored five goals and six goals. Mm. When they're not going to do that, I still feel they need a centre forward long term. Yeah. Doesn't help when you've got centre halves trying to play offside from a throw on. <laughs> I mean, you get five year olds who, who do that, you know, and get told otherwise. And then they learn by the time they're six. These are playing in the Premier League, trying to play offside from a mm. throw on. Incredible. 
Yeah, they're on a goal-scoring uh, run at the moment. Are Arsenal 21 goals in their last five Premier League games? They're spreading the goals around. Mm. And of course, when you're playing well and you're full of confidence, anybody can score as they're showing here. But as I said, come March, April, when all of a sudden you're not going to be scoring goals because these are regular goal scorers when you can say, you've got a centre-forward to score goals. Is it going to be in Ketia? Yeah. Not necessarily. And I think that that's probably where they will fall down short. But at this moment in time, they're doing fantastically well. All right, that's Arsenal wrapped up. Thoughts about the Burnley versus Arsenal game ending with 5 0 in favour of Arsenal. Turf Moor saw the visitors' Arsenal came off to a flying start. Rice came striding forward in plenty of space, passing the ball to left winger Martinelli, who in turn cut back, which was deflected slightly to Martin Odegaard just outside the penalty box, who scored a beautiful goal landing in the bottom right corner of the goal, giving no chance to Burnley goalkeeper Trafford. In the 39th minute, Burnley defender Dennis Frankie dives in on Trossard in the penalty box, getting a yellow card in the process and giving Arsenal a penalty. Saka took the penalty, scoring a low right corner goal for their second goal. Two minutes in extra time of the first half, Saka got a yellow card for kicking the ball away after a foul call. The second half starts with Burnley substituting Amdouni with Guomenson. Bakayo Saka scored his second goal in the 47th minute. Burnley player Jacob Ramsey is carried out of the field due to injury in the 61st minute, substituted by Jay Rodriguez. Leandro Trossard scores Arsenal's fourth goal in the 66th minute of the game. Arteta gave rest to his performers Saka, Trossard and Ben White in the 69th minute. Kai Havertz scored Arsenal's fifth goal in the 78th minute. Declan Rice substituted in the 79th minute and goalscorer Havertz in the 84th minute. All in all, Arsenal shows how good they are as a team and proof that the team is in a good nick to challenge for the title alongside Liverpool and Manchester City.